So finally, official version of Lineage S23 has been released based on Android 16. Many users were waiting for the Lineage S official version based on Android 16. And users were looking forward to 23.1, maybe with the QPR1 update. But it's quite unfortunate that we do not have the QPR1 update available. I'm not so sure if we will see that anytime soon, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I'm not so sure. But Lineage OS has initial version, uh, which they call it as QPR0. This is Android 16 first initial version. Let's have a quick look at some of the things you get in this default official version of Lineage OS 23. First of all, you will see new phone ringtone, alarm sounds and ringtone sounds from Plasma Mobile as it is included in the change log. So just wanted to let you know this might not be a big deal for many users, but it might be. So just wanted to let you know it's available in these settings so you can customize and configure it further in case you want to. Including this, if you move on to battery section, we'll see this charging control. It is not a new feature, but it is quite improved. They have improved the functionality of this thing. It's available in the battery section. And actually, in reality, the function is quite useful for many users. If you use it already, it's good. If you don't use it, and maybe if you, if you do not have any idea regarding this one, make sure to check this out because it's quite useful. One of the biggest change you will notice after installation, after installing Lineage S23 on your device is regarding the camera that we have the option to customize things. Now we have the option to capture photos in RAW. This is just so good. This is the default camera option. Simply move on to aperture camera settings. We have the option to customize a lot of things. We have the option to enable the RAW image capture. And as far as I know, it was not available previously. And aperture camera is one of the most underrated camera apps available. And as far as I know, Lineage OS is one of the only few custom ROMs that brings you their own default camera. Many custom ROMs have this USB camera pre-installed, which is actually from um, actually available from Lineage OS, or maybe in some custom ROMs you have Google camera pre-installed. But in this case, Aperture camera is actually so improved with this new update. If you move on to the default music player, the name is 12. That is also updated. We have the play random songs images, uh, ran play random songs toggle option available in this case. Minor tweaks and changes available after installation because I do not have any songs available. So can't show you, but it is also changed. Other than else, other minor tweaks, which you will notice like this apps list option while holding on the home screen. This is the option available here. There's a trebuchet launcher pre-installed as expectedly so. Nothing new, nothing unique. Obviously, some things have been improved, but most of the things shall remain same. With the QPR1 update, if it will come, that will be the most exciting thing because it's not based on QPR1 right now. So most of the things are kind of same, like same goes with the quick settings panel. If you're able to notice, no new quick settings panel, not even the new uh, ported one, as you just see in some of the custom ROMs like CR Droid, Evolution XOS and so on. We still have the audio FX support, which is just so good. And if you need a sound equalizer, audio FX is always one of the best options out there. You can use this thing on a device. And if you're not satisfied with that by rooting your device, you can uninstall audio FX if you're not satisfied with that. Wallpapers and style, similar UI. And if you're looking forward to the lock screen clock styles, unfortunately, no clock style is available as expectedly as like same like the previous ones. It's, it will be quite excited to see in QPR1 what are the major changes we will see in Lineage OS and that is actually the most exciting thing right now but it's not based on QPR1 so it doesn't make sense regarding that talk, to talk about that basically. What about play integrity? It's quite common but still many users are not aware of that Lineage OS does not have the support for play integrity. So if you have installed Google Apps after installing Lineage on your device, you will see this basic integrity and so on. So if you want to fix that, you have to install some modules like Play Integrity, Fork and so on. And then you will be able to pass strong integrity and whatever you want to pass. Because I made a video already on how you can pass strong integrity on your devices. And that still works, by the way. In some scenarios, it might not work. But in most of the scenarios, it is still working. Everything else is just quite similar. We have more security options. It brings you the support for private space. Uh, one more thing I just uh, saw in developer options that what about Linux development terminal? It is unfortunately not present. So obviously, if you're looking forward to that, it's not present too. This is about the initial impressions of the latest version of Lineage 23 based on Android 16. 
one of the most awaited versions out there unofficially is already available from some time but this is official version if it is not rolled out yet for your device it will be there soon thanks for watching i will see you in the next one until then take care